Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Slate Aspire. My name is Weasel. We're back in Act 2, The City. Act 1 went really well. I enjoyed this quite a bit. And let's see how well we're going to do if I die this uh, run or not. But so far, I really like this blend of a roguelike kart game. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. So I think I'm going to start with mm, this one. Because there's a merchant coming up here. And there's not going to be a merchant here. So... I would like to see one of those. What are you? You are a barricade? Huh, interesting. All right, you have 40 block. Uh, artifact negates free debuffs. And block is not removed at the start of turn. Oh, I'm fine. Fine, I, I guess it doesn't intend to attack me, so I'm just going to do that. Um, i just bring that up just in case it's going to attack us. And we're just going to do some damage and see how this goes. Does it do anything? Holy moly! It just adds a lot of stuff to it. That's okay. 53, we can handle. Uh, it's going to do 10 damage, and I have nothing. Nothing. Nothing to heal for that. Okay, Reaper makes no sense because he's going to block us. We're going to do fire breathing. Because it's going to do some additional damage. Deal 20 damage for this sucker. And so far so good. So we're going to do one more damage. Actually, two more damage. Good. He's down to 19. We're not going to be able to block that 10. We're only going to be able to block three of that. And we're frail now. Gain 25% less block from cards for five turns. That's really rude. Rude. Probably going to be the best. Uh, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. Let's do that one. I'd like that. And I want perfected strike. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Perfected strike is a good time. 27 damage on top of that. Another. Oh, wait. Is he actually going to die? I think he's going to die thanks to fire breathing because it is going to deal one damage for each attack. So, pew, he dead. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, 11 gold, elixir, exhaust all status and curse starts. Oh, exhaust all status and curse cards from your hand. That means what? I'm not entirely sure. And we're going to add blood for blood, cost one less uh, for each time you lose HP in combat, deal 16 damage. Ooh, fairly interesting. I mean, I'm going to lose quite a lot of health during the time, so as long as I don't get it in the beginning, this is really neat. Gain 8 block, draw a card, gain 2 strength, lose 2 strength. I think I'm going to go with blood for blood. So far, so good. All right, next minion in our path towards the top of the city. I like the background as well. It looks very ancient. All right, the Chosen. Ah, so you're gonna do some like strategic effects and attack me for 10 damage. I think that's rude. So we're gonna do metallicize to gain three attack on each turn. And what are we gonna throw at it? What deals the most damage? 20. Sure. That looks good to me. And we can still do clash. And he's down to 62. And we're gonna take seven damage, at least, depending on what that buff is. Never mind, he plays the buff afterwards, I think. Or at the same time. Okay, 27 damage through perfected strike. That is quite perfect. Um, kind of mm, to all enemies. That would be unblocked. I get four health back. I do four damage. That's not worth it for two. Let's do the perfect strike and throw up a defend. We're just gonna block for five damage plus the eight we get for each turn. Good. Uh, I think I should be able to take him out with something. Gain two energy. Do I need that? I don't think I'm going to need that. 18 damage, 16 damage, and 8 damage. Sure. Sounds good. And this is also going to apply it vulnerable. Ah, that wasn't smart. That was not smart. I lost my double attack there. Ah, well. It's okay. Ah, what are we going to put it under the discard pile? Perfected strike. That, that, that'll certainly do. Deal four damage. Oh, so close. You know what? I'm going to throw that potion. Just end him. Problem solved. I know it would have dealt 10 damage to everyone in here, but whatever. 20 damage. Ooh, fire potion. Yeah, we needed to use a potion. Otherwise, we would have not 
we would have wasted a slot, basically. Gain one vulnerable, deal nine damage. Might be interesting. Deal four damage, deal nine damage, draw a card. Pommel Strike sounds good. Getting an extra card might be worth it at certain times. I'm gonna go to the merchant, given that we have a little bit of extra cash. Welcome! So how do I get more... How do I get more energy? Um, I don't think I see any that do that. We got some potions and card removal services. Right now I don't have anything good. Gain two... Um, two energy. Hmm. Removes until end of combat. So is that... I think that might be permanent. And the card is just removed until the end of the combat. Hmm. I like it. What are you? Secret technique. Looks like a legendary card. Choose a skill from your draw pile and place it into your hand. Exhaust. Ooh. I like it. I like it. Um, deal free damage. Draw one card. Seeing red might be interesting. Sure. Let's throw that in as well. I don't think I need any potions. Yeah, we spent quite a bit of money. I'm actually super broke now. Oh, well. Let's go and fight an enemy. Big question mark. Never mind. It's something else. It's the cursed tomb. Tome. In an abandoned temple, you find a giant book open, riddled with cryptic writings. As you try to interpret it, the elaborate script that begins to shift and morph into writing you are familiar with. Good. Uh, sure. Let's read it. Oh, the book seems to be all about ancient name Meow. This piques your interest, but you have a general feeling of malaise. Mm, lose one health point. The Ancient of Resurrection now was exiled at the bottom of the spire. You feel compelled to read more, but your body begins to ache. Lose two health points. Freaking rude! Seeking vengeance now blesses outsiders, using them for his own purposes. You're feeling very weak and tired. Damn, this keeps... Alright. Those resurrected by now remember only fragments of their past selves, cursed to fight for eternity. As you hear the final page, your old wounds begin to reopen. <sighs> Obtain the book, lose 10 health points. Screw it, I want the book. Upon finishing the tome, you decide to take it with you. With proof in hand, will you retain your memories? I have absolutely no idea what it does. It hurt me, but now I have it. Um, at the end of each turn, you can choose one of three random cards to shovel into your draw pile. <gasps> That's fantastic. I like it. All right. Secret technique, choose a skill from your draw pile and place it into your hand. Exhaust. Deal four damage. Place a copy. Okay. You're just buffing yourself. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, let's see if we can throw something into our hand. Gain. Hmm. Mm, not interested. Oh well. Fine. Might as well take this one. I think this is just temporary at the end of the turn. Or is it? Yeah, four to three. It's not going to go up permanently. Oh well. Deal four damage. Deal eight damage. Apply vulnerable. And we're not going to take any of that. We're not going to be able to use any of that. But whatever. All right. Choose a card we can throw into our draw pile. This is interesting. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deal 16 damage. Mm. This might be interesting. Whenever you lose health points from a card, gain one strength. And gain... Hmm... Let's try Sever Soul. That might be an interesting one. We don't have to play it if we don't like it. Incantation. Ritual. What does that do? Gains... At the end of the turn, gains free strength. Oof. No bueno. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Blood for blood, cost one less for each time you lose... Well... Doesn't make sense right now. We can't play it anyway. Uh, Metallicize, always handy. Deal 13 damage, apply one weak, one vulnerable. Um, or 22 damage. Sure, let's do 22 damage on our cultist here. And that's all I can do, and we're going to take some damage now. Double tap. This turn, your next attack is played twice. <gasps> Love it. Want it. Absolutely. This is going to come in handy. Can already tell. Didn't even see the other ones. I was just so excited, I had to get it. Okay, 14 more cards are in here. And there's a lot of attack in there. Yeah, you're, you're special with your buff. You're, you're all great. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to take this sucker out because he only has 4 health points left. So no point. Can only be played every attack. Is that worth it? Sure, I'm going to throw up some block because these guys are going to attack. Deal. 9 damage. 
And... Hmm, you can only play it if every card in your attack is attacking. Well, I can do that. And I'm gonna do a headbutt. And I grab something that I want back. How about... We don't have the better perfected strike. Oh, I want blood for blood. This is a cheap damage card. And since we're gonna take more damage now, we'll see. Choose a card to grab. Deal 10 damage if this kills a non-minion enemy. Uh, non-minion? What is a non-minion enemy? Gain free permanent maximum health points. Exhaust. Hmm. Uh, intriguing, but... I don't think so. Um, alright. Lose free HP, deal 14 damage. Gain 8 block, draw 1 card. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's great for one, that's a fantastic card. I guess they're not gonna stay in my deck, <clears throat> which is a bummer, but just having them. Da, we're down to 33 HP. Okay. 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 I'm going to throw out... Well, first of all, I'm going to attack the Cultist. I'm gonna bring Fire Breathing. When I think I'm gonna be able to take the Cultist out. Yep, I'm gonna be able to take the Cultist out, which is going to negate 12 damage. And this block would have only blocked 8, so I'll go with that. Oh, and I'm gonna have... Enemy X times. Oh, X is the amount of energy. So, not interested. I'm gonna go with Perfected Strike. One of my favorite cards. And he's gonna do 12 damage, bringing us down to 24. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't like that. Okay. Exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand. Deal 16 damage. Deal 33 damage. Yeah, that is absolutely going to happen. Anything I should... Heal 9 damage, draw 1 card. That might be worth it. Let's see what we're getting. Damn it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing of use. Damn it. Here. We're gonna die. Isn't that gonna happen? Yep, that's gonna happen. Cost 1 less for each time you lose HP in combat. Sure, why not? So close. He's down to 3 health points. And we'll take him out next turn, but look at my health point. I'm not getting far in this round. I'm not getting far. All right, he's gone. And I just forgot that I had fire potions. Totally should have done that. All right, dexterity potion. Are you going to replace something? Discard. Yes, I can discard something. All right, 11 gold, and I'm going to add something. Gain 5 block, deal 5 damage. Sounds good to me. Wait. Oh, that was not smart. Whatever. Ooh, perfect. We need to rest up. 24 health points on top of it. Yes. That should help at least a little bit. Alright, Dexterity improves block gain from cards. Oh, how handy. Alright, this path is definitely the better one. What are you? A shelled parasite and a slaver. Ugh. Okay, you're intending to do a bit of damage. I'm gonna throw up a block. I'm seeing red. Hmm. Deal for damage, place a copy. Sure. Should I do that? Mm, I feel it's just gonna clog up my draw pile. Yup. Uh, and I actually don't need to use seeing red yet, so... Meaning we're not going to exhaust ourselves. Let's see, gain 2 energy for the energy potion. Nope. Deal 20 damage. And gain 2 dexterity. Um, How long does dexterity last? I'm gonna drink it. Because we might need every little bit of help. Ah, wow, bludgeon, 32 damage. I like the sound of that. At the start of each turn, gain two strength. I don't think we're gonna stand around long enough for that. Okay. We're gonna take five, 12 damage in total, and I'm weakened. Mm, not good. So we got bludgeon, dealing 24 damage. Tempting, but no thank you. Three damage to all enemies. That's awful. Choose a skill from your draw pile and place it into your hand. <sighs> Being weakened is really annoying. It is really bad. Okay. I'm gonna have a look. Oh, it's defend. Hmm. Maybe we should do that. 
Maybe we should do that. Okay. I'm gonna play seven block. We'll take that. Fire breathing. Wait, let's count first. This would give me two energy, allowing me to cast bludgeon and strike, probably. Or get, how much would you get then? Three damage, six. We'll get six health back or do 24 damage. Hmm. Sure, I'm gonna drink my energy potion. I'm gonna throw bludgeon onto, oh boy. I'm not feeling very comfortable about my situation as of right now. Let's take out the slaver. And also play fire breathing. All right, 70 damage. <sighs> not good. That's not good. I think this might be the final turn. This might be the final turn. As great as it is, ugh, weakened. This might be a final turn. Let's see. Play, deal six damage. That's nothing. 18 damage. Sure. Let's see. We can take him out. 12 damage and six damage. I'm going to put one onto my, is it draw pile? Hmm. I'm going to take seeing red. And I'll take 12 damage. Uh, blood for blood. Sure. All right, buddy. End it. End me. Okay, down to eight. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to deal with him in one turn, which is kind of a bummer. All right, let's let's get seeing red. Let's make everything happen. 18 damage. 33. Uh, nope, we're not going to be able to do... 16, 4, oh, wait a second. Oh, we made it. <laughs> we made it. So close. I did not expect to survive this encounter. I'm going to throw that. Yeah, strength potion, 19 gold, and I'll need something to actually heal me or, you know, protect me. Iron Wave, gain 7 block, deal 7 damage. Gain 4 strength at the end of the turn, lose 4 strength. Mm, I'm going to go with Iron Wave. We need something more to protect us. I've been focusing too much on attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I mean. I'm not I'm not seeing this happening. Um sure, choose a skill. Uh defend. Oh boy. Talisize. And sure, 14 damage to one of you suckers. Ah, uh, sure. I'll take that as well. The more the merrier. I think that's it. Nope. I might have like two health points left. Yes. A whole whopping two health points. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. Wait, I'm only getting free block with Iron Wave. That's rude. That's just rude. Okay. Pommel Strike. Sure. Let's do that. This is going to give me 30 damage. I only have two health, though. Yep, I'm dead. Well, that was fun. That was, that was a good time. That was, that was an excellent time. <sighs> anyway, guys. <laughs> I wonder if we get to keep anything from our previous run. Or if this is the whole thing. Defeated. A nap sounds good. Yeah, a nap sounds great. Alright, so we climbed 25 floors. 125 points, I guess. Um, slayed 10 enemies. Exordium elites killed. Zero. City elites killed. Zero. And one boss slain. Um, let's see. Unlock. New character. Ooh. What are you? Are you just a visual thing or are you actually going to change how things are? I want to kind of have a quick look. So he has 70 health. A deadly hunter from the Foglands eradicates foes with daggers and poison. Ring of the snake. Draw additional two cards. <gasps> that sounds good. So, uh, guys, let me know if you would like to see more. I think uh, I could see myself giving this another run, uh, seeing how far we can go. In any case, thank you so much for watching Slate Aspire. If you want to play it yourself, it's available on Steam. I think it's somewhere around 14 bucks. Uh, it's a fantastic little game so far. Uh, it is an early access. You might have noticed that little note on the screen. If you don't mind that, 
just grab it. It seems to be really, uh, it's going the right way and I've seen it's been patched quite a bit so they are actively working on it. This doesn't look abandoned at all and the last update was very recent so this gives you a good indication that this game is going to be continually developed. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!